Mm. You're right, Sonia. These are enjoyable eggs. Room for improvement, but very enjoyable. Ed. What are we doing, Jane? I'm eating eggs. You're staring at a dry muffin. We need a plan. I've been thinking about that. In the meantime, Red John is going to kill again. Yeah, probably. Jane, I'm scared. He's not psychic. Well, that's not what scares me. Well, no, that scares me, too. There's no such thing. I'm scared because I've never seen you like this before. It's like you don't know what to do next. Next? Well, pecan pie. Funny, funny, I'm serious. So am I. We need help. No. Everything's okay. It's all right, you're safe. You're safe. What happened? You don't remember anything? Aside from Partridge, no. Why? What did he do? Nothing. Doctor says you're completely unharmed, apart from a taste of burn. What time is it? Morning sometime. Partridge is dead. Red John killed him and did nothing to me. Why? He didn't do nothing. He took Partridge's blood. Put it on your face. Made his mark. Okay. What, what does that mean? He's just being playful. Ran out of time. Maybe something spooked him and he couldn't go through his usual routine. You were right about the phone traces. Red John hooked me like a fish. Well, at least he threw you back. I'll have Van Pelt pull him down. They're completely illegal aside from anything else. There is that. Wait. But before Partridge died, he looked at me and he said, Tiger, Tiger, as in the poem. Which is what Red John said to you, right? That's interesting. What does it mean? I don't know. Hello? Uh, Mrs. Lee, Carmen Lee? Uh, sorry, wrong room, I guess. Sorry. Red John has been ahead of us this entire time. I know you say he's not psychic, but I'm not sure. Hmm. You said yourself. When Red John killed Eileen Turner, it was like he reached inside your head and killed a happy memory. How could he do that if he's not psychic? That's a good question. This meant good. We're going to Napa. You drive. Homicide bulletins? Hot off the press. A John Doe in a duck pond awaits. Well, that sounds like a case for local authorities. Bingo. Napa. Okay, wait a minute. That's Sheriff McAllister's jurisdiction. You want to go and investigate a Red John's Investigating is your thing. I'd just like to get to know him a little better, shall we? You know, I've always suspected the FBI watching me, personally. As paranoid as it sounds, it would explain how they got the Marks case. But why would they do this to him? And how do we proceed? I can't just go to the FBI and ask them if they killed Marks. If the FBI has been watching me, I'll bet that someone very high up in the CBI authorizer at least went along with it. I need to talk to them. Bertram, but you obviously can't ask him. Madeline Hightower, that. Hightower? And she hasn't run the CBI in three years. What kind of information do you think she still has access to? And if so, why would she share it with you? Well, Red John tried to kill her. She's going to want to help me. Unless she blames you. Hey, I'm going to call her. Fine. Oh, what do you have planned for the day? You don't officially have a case, do you? You can relax. Get a massage, Manny mm. Petty. No. I have to go and offer protection to the six people on your list, which you are going to give me. I was hoping you'd opt for the massage. Uh, when Parkman was stabbed, the knife glanced over the rib and barely nicked the aorta. Uh, but Hafner was lying. Uh, the coroner says that there was a struggle after the stabbing that caused the nick to tear, and that's what started the hemorrhaging that killed Parkman. 
And if Frost and Parkman were really struggling, and that's what caused the hemorrhage, how is it that Frost didn't get Parkman's blood all over him? And how did he avoid tracking bloody footprints out of the room? I just solved the case. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, but one thing first. James? There's something I want to tell you, Elizabeth. Something I should have said a long time ago. I want to thank you for everything that you've done. You can thank me later. No, I... I need to say this now. You have no idea what you've meant to me. What you mean to me. Styles and Hafner. And Bertram. Bertram? He has a tattoo as well. Oh my God. He was just here. He was standing over you. He, he was trying to get me to leave. He was going to kill you. Where are my clothes? Slow down. Okay. Oh, it's okay. We don't have enough. Jane. Jane. Where are my clothes? This is Teresa Lisbon. Put out a statewide alert for the apprehension of Reed Smith and Gail Bertram. Yes, Director Bertram. Approach with caution. They're considered armed and dangerous. One of them is Red John. Don't even think about it. Husband. It's over. It's done. I just want you to know I'm okay. I'm gonna miss you. Beard. Thank you. Thank you for the letter. Oh, I missed you. I missed you too. What's going on, huh? Why am I here? You'll see. It's gonna be great. What? Trust me. Oh, look, that Sky Mall. Sky Mall.
Okay, Lisbon, what's the matter? You. Was it that comment I made in the bullpen? Because I think that's a really good theory. No, I don't care about that. You ran away again, Jane. Not from the FBI, you ran away from me. Yeah, but I ran back. How was I supposed to know? I thought you were gone again forever. Okay, you're right. I'm sorry, Elizabeth. I didn't think about you. Well, you rarely do. Well, that's not true. I made you one of my demands. I'm, I'm not joining the FBI unless they make you a job offer. That's my point. What makes you think I want to work with you again? You are difficult and exhausting, and maybe I don't want to put the rest of my life on hold to be your sidekick. Have you ever even thought about that? No, I, no. I hadn't considered it. You think you know what's good for my life, but you haven't been a part of my life for two years. So let's get this case wrapped up so I can go home. Ladies, quick question. Huh? Which shirt do I wear? Jake, we're kind of in the middle of something right Please, now. Please, I need the help. It'll only take a second. Huh? Which one? Th this or this? That one. Are you sure? I did find that one. Uh... Jane, really, come on. We're trying to track down Perez. Are you going to actually help with this investigation or what? Well, who says I'm not? Oh, you're helping by going on a date. Well, it paid off once, didn't it? By the way, thank you very much for the couch. Warms the place up tremendous. He is up to something with that woman. Yeah, I'll say. No, I mean, he knows something that he's not telling us. I've seen it a thousand times. I don't know. He seemed pretty interested in her. She's not even his type. That's what I said. What is his type? I don't know. Jane? Lisbon? Where are you? I'm on scent of murder like a bloodhound. We just questioned the staff. Apparently, the day before he died, Whitaker was asking people about industrial espionage. Yeah, I'm a little late <laughs> on that one. You broke into my car. I entered your car without your knowledge. But the good news is, tomorrow at around 2, this case will be cracked. You sound awfully sure of yourself. Always. So, what's going on tonight? Tonight, I plan on painting Houston red. Mm. Where's Chow? Arm wrestling with some heavy objects at the gymnasium. Mm. I just want room service. I happen to have a date. Sorry, a date? But like I couldn't possibly have a date with somebody? You have a date in Houston? Yeah, remember Osvaldo Ardiles? Ardiles. Two words. Tasseled loafers. Oh, he's not a bad looking man. So loafers. Oh, wait, hold on. Back up. You said you already solved the case. Are you going to tell us how? I'll ask him and he won't tell you. Pretend you're not interested and he might. I'm not even gonna try. No, I'm sorry. You, you, you said uh, date and then the subject changed. Yeah, okay. It's not exactly a date day. It's a business thing. He is flying in on a private jet from Chicago. Wow, that's very impressive. Why? I don't know. I'll find out tonight. What was Furlock doing in Gentry? It's a long way to drive for a day trip. Mm. It's a nice drive, though. How are you doing on the case files? They put me to sleep. I decided to take a break and look at her photo share site. Check this out. <sighs> These are the pictures she downloaded the night before she left for Gentry. Farmer's Market, lovely. I wonder where it is. Well, that's easy. Gentry. How do you know? Those wind turbines are the same ones you can see from Phelps's ranch. Okay, so she sees these photos on the internet, and the next day she jumps in her car for an all-day road trip? Why mm. does somebody do that? Well, that corner on the cob looks very tasty. I could drive my airstream down to Gentry. Want to join me? In the silver bucket? No, thanks. Well, Fisher it is, then. I'm still trying to track down whoever tapped our cell phones and killed our dealers. Van Pelt's got a lead, but I'm waiting for a judge to sign off on a warrant to search the property. Oh, JJ owes me a favor. LaRoche? Yeah, I heard he's working internal affairs at SFPD. You snap your fingers, I bet he'll come running. Oh, we're the last people he'd want to help. He lost his job because of us. Well, I'm not saying he's going to want to help us, but if you just mention that I'm involved and that, uh, you know, he kind of owes me a favor, I think he'd be glad to help. Just saying. Lisbon? I don't know, Richard Heibach? Linus Wagner, maybe. The pedophile and the homicidal shrink. Excellent choices. Now we have a set of suspects. 
I was really angry at you for doing what you did, but then I thought better of it. It was a stupid idea, but hey, it worked. Whoa, stupid? Not necessarily stupid. Simple. Not stupid. But I am still angry at you for not telling me what you were going to do. I thought you'd gone nuts. Oh, come on, please. It's not like I haven't abducted people before. It's not funny. I was really scared. I'm sorry. No, you're not. I can tell when you're not being sincere now. But clearly you can't because I am sorry. I can tell just by looking at you. Starting, you look beautiful. I hope he's taking you someplace nice. Cloth napkins and everything. Answer. Oh, you have a great time. Good night, Jane. Good night, Teresa. We can talk to the wait staff after they're done with lunch service. According to Maitre D, it should be an hour and a half. Not so worry. Uh, excuse me, Miss. Uh, could you pour my friend some coffee, please? Thank you. Tell Pike I say hi. How do you know it's Pike? Jane says hi. Yeah, he seems like a good guy. Hmm. He is. Good, because you deserve to be with a good man. Thanks. Excuse me, ma'am. Um, I'd like to get some cream. Thank you. Excuse me. This, uh, this fork is dirty there. You see that? Oh. How about this one? Oh, yeah, that's clean. Thank you. Nice and clean. Excellent. Okay, what is going on? The video Madison Price made showed that she stayed in the cabin the night before she died. She was gay, so it was unlikely a man's cabin, or likely a friend or a lover. She washed her hair, so she probably borrowed the shampoo from the other woman. None of these women here use that shampoo. But by process of elimination, it leaves... Excuse me, miss. Yes, ma'am, you. Come here, please. Ginger citrus. Very nice, very nice. Uh, there we are. Well, uh, need me to give you a ride someplace? Oh, no, it's all right. I already got one. He was just waiting there all the time? Yeah. I guess those art department guys aren't that busy, huh? It's the art crimes department. He's very busy. He just makes a point to be there for me. You really like this guy, huh? He got a promotion. It's a, a posting in D.C. And he asked me to go with him so we can be together in D.C. Thinking about it. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. What do you think about it? Uh, <laughs> congratulations, I guess. Congratulations. That's all you're gonna say. Sure. Well, I mean, if 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 that's if that's what you want. You're not upset. No, of course not. I mean, if that's um, if you're happy. Oh, I'm happy. Then I'm happy. Hey. Hi. Guess what? That show we missed the other night. They're playing another one in 45 minutes. We can catch it if. if... You guys are done here, right? Oh, we're done. Yeah. yeah. Sure. See you, Patrick. See you. I have just the table for your... Uh, Special evening. Oh, it's just dinner. <laughs> Nonsense. Every night with this one is uh, 
an occasion, yes? Can't deny that. Well, Zerlin, uh, I'll be right back. I owe you an apology about the grand jury saying I overreacted. You're just doing what Abba told you to. Uh -huh. Did Marcus help you decide that? As a matter of fact. Right, well, Marcus is wrong. I should have told you, and uh, you're right to be cross with me. I pled the fifth, by the way, in the grand jury room. Figured as much. You always know what I'm going to do, huh? Mostly. One of these days, I might surprise you. Please don't. I love that you're predictable. Just what a girl wants to hear. What does a girl want to hear? I wish I knew. You're one man, you. Thank you. Have you told Jane that you're leaving yet? No, no, not yet. I'll understand. Yeah. I'll be downstairs. Bye. go with Abbott. Thanks. We make a good team sometimes. Yeah, we do. You heading out? Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll be here. Good night. There you are. What are you doing here? There's something I need to say. I don't want to see you go away. You're right. You're right. I, I have forgotten how to act like a normal human being. And I play games, I lie, and I, and I trick people to avoid the truth of how I feel. And the idea of letting anyone close to me is, is, is terrifying for obvious reasons. But the truth, Teresa, is that I can't imagine waking up knowing that I won't see you. The truth is, I love you. Woo, you can't imagine how good that feels to say out loud, but it scares me. And it is the truth. It is the truth of what I feel. It's too late, James. It's too late. Maybe, maybe. And I understand. That's OK. I needed to get to this. And you deserve to hear it. Put hands in the air right now. Do it. I love you, Teresa. And it makes me happy to be able to say that to you. I love her. That woman in 12B, I love her. You take care of her. I'm sorry, that was embarrassing. Oh, shush, honey. Every woman on this plane is green with envy. yourself in, huh? Uh, I've seen worse pickle-wise. Yes, you have. How's the ankle? Oh, that's fine. You didn't go to D.C.? No. Did you mean what you said? Yes, I did. Good. Just to be clear, we're talking about pickles, right? The other thing. Oh, that. This is no joking matter. Yes. I meant what I said, every word of it. Good. Because I feel the same way. Well, that's lucky. What about 
come back. I'll understand. Say it again. Say what again? 